Waifu bartending time. Hi, everyone. Waifu bartending. Hello. Uh, just Hi, so you, everybody. Just so y'all know, uh, Noob is like fully leaned back and like ultra comfortable right now. He's <laughs> mega comfy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. wait, wait, wait. I don't see the starting, the stream screen. What? Right. Are you still on starting soon? No, it's on, it's on stream. Am I just really really lagged behind. Let me reload it. On title screen. Right? Uh, I'm in an ad. Just keep going. Oh, okay. Load. Day two. Dude, we made so much money last time. We made so much money. <laughs> a lot of money. Holy shit, dude. At least $800. Dude, we made 2400 We did. <laughs> okay. Okay, wait. Here's the thing. Here's the augmented eye. Local woman, local hero. It's warning a suicide attempt uh, story about an unifying will mall. Oh, that's cool. Oh, no. Uh, Catch the midair. What? Damn. What? Imagine. That sounds a bit. Midair, that sounds a bit too fantastical. Mm hmm. 70% 70, 70 of our readers consider ramen to be. Boo! Get the fuck out of here! Ew. <laughs> shrimp ramen. Oh, shrimp ramen? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, actually. Shrimp is so artificial, it doesn't trigger my allergies. Mmm. I don't know. I like. I like it. What if you just fill everything in a drink? Why? <laughs> oh, you're you're talking about that like the the thing that I that we used to do when you go up to like a McDonald's and you just go up to like, get a little bit of everything and you realize it's a terrible idea. Yeah. <laughs> okay, back on shrimp ramen. In compared in comparison to every other ramen, shrimp ramen actually sucks. Instant ramen, I will agree. Okay, if it's like made correctly, then sure. But I'm pretty sure they're talking about. No, it says instant ramen right here. Yeah, I'm pretty. Yeah, instant that's what food. I'm saying. I'm pretty sure they're talking about instant ramen. Yeah, yeah instant ramen's pretty. Like it's pretty meh. <laughs> uh, no, there's a. Oh, speaking of, there's a. Uh, there's like a shrimp, like shrimp broth soup, like noodle soup chain that's opening up mm. around here that I need to go to. Let me send it to you. Oh, oh by the way, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, put, I put my hair in a, the tiniest ponytail. Oh, 
Oh, nice. The tiniest ponytail. It's like an inch long. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's so small. <laughs> Hair too short. Uh, this is a chain. This one. Give me a second. Uh... Let me send it to... Come on. Oh my god. US... USA. The shrimp. Also, also, about Alice Rabbit, freaking reminding me of Pandora Hearts. Yeah, fair. Because Alice, there's a character named Alice in Pandora Hearts, <laughs> and she's the black rabbit. Oh my god. <laughs> so I'm just like, oh my god, Alice. <laughs> so if you go on that website, it's the second one. The, the noodle bar, not the not the not the freaking uh, DTF place. Don't trust this dog. A dog, you say. Makes a lot of sense. Oh fuck's sake! I'm not gonna. Green. Those purple numbers. Bro. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. De Select my region. Uh, USA. I mean, the shrimp noodle bar. The shrimp noodle bar, yeah. Music. Oh shit, we can choose music. What's D? Dangerous opinions. <gasps> Miki concert two. Last one. Oh wait, Miki concert. Okay. Would you like to lie? Why would you lie on the internet? Damn. Right. Oh wow, get oh. fucking normies get bruh. Bruh. Oh god. Bruh. <laughs> Straight up Miku stuff. Yeah. I don't know if you succeed in your life. Ooh boy. Childhood romance? Some of them do. Going to marry me, ooh boy. I'm gonna marry Miku. <laughs> oh boy, let's talk about Alice Rabbit. Happy not birthday, cheeky pest. Oh Jesus. Anyways, shop time? Shop time. Shop time. Cute clay houses. Haha! <laughs> suit. Oh, my necky neko. Aw, oh, no. It's a broken paw. Boo. There's more than just bartending? Yeah. There's a whole, like, a bunch of stuff. A Miki poster. A Miki poster? What does it look like? That's a great question. Oh, hover over. No. We have to double click it. I can't just. Uh, yeah. Cutesy game poster. Assorted game cartridges. Cracked Daruma. Alec. Yik. His beard grows in real time. Amazing. Breath. Movie poster. Knight of the ID statures. A beloved police mockumentary. There's more than just bartending? Yeah, there's a lot more. Yeah. There's story. Mega Christmas tree. Celebrate the bastardized commercial version of an already bastardized celebration. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's so expensive. Look. <laughs> Jeez. Replica toy, toy Turing. Jesus. A whole PC. It's just a fan. Oh, it's a Dyson. <laughs> it's a Dyson. <laughs> Hollow plant in memory of a real potted plant. Paper lantern. Beer on discount. Ooh, we can buy beer on discount. <laughs> Ooh. Meet the staff. Ooh. Kira Mikia feels your fanaticism. A shoulder massage. A tea. A shoulder massager? Oh, yeah. Mm. 
Do you want to buy something for the house? Sure. Let's get Maneki Neko. Okay. Return. Does it in the? Aha! Maneki Neko. <laughs> we have so much money. We do. Do we want to spend down to a thousand? Okay. Oh, I kind of want the assorted game cartridges. Game cartridges. Oh, game cartridges. Cute. I love it. Oh. I like how she has so many pictures of her boss. Right. It's so. It's actually kind of weird. Not gonna lie. <laughs> Why do you love your boss this much? Are you sure you just... Are you sure you, you like her on normal amount? Yeah, I, right? <laughs> ban her? I barely know her. Oof. Wanna... Okay, last item? Before last we go... Last item? Uh... Game poster. I wanna know what the Alex figurine is. You want to go for it? Yeah. That. <laughs> it's a ginger. <laughs> it's a ginger. <laughs> time to go to work? Yep. Yeah. yeah, work time. Wednesday, December 14th. Oh wait, this is the girl from last time. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who you, was... you did her. Yeah, I did her. Hey Jill. What's up with the boss? She's like she's she's cute. she's cute and can punch stuff and has a has a cybernetic arm. <laughs> That's a sound you don't hear every day. Oh, oh. this is boss. This is boss. Boss, what are you doing with that helmet? I was just... <laughs> I was just about Ooh. to ask... I was just about to ask you where it came from. Who? The boss. A white knight came yesterday. She left and, well, she forgot to take it with her. I figured she'd eventually come looking for it, so I left it under the count... Wait... you regularly put things on without asking who they belong to first? I don't plan and evaluate every move, Jill. I just act. Anyway, as your boss, I'm taking this helmet until the client comes for it. <laughs> Bruh. I love this boss! She's so funny. You sound happy. Well, this helmet is comfortable. And cool. And comfortable. And cool. And... And really, really cool. <laughs> Hello. It's strange that you're late, Gil. Yeah, the traffic was. Ugh! Don't run. You have work to do. I'm not going back to Hong Kong. Ho Hong Kong, Ch Chief. This is sorry. I thought you were someone else. Apparently, I'll leave the rest up to you. Oh, detonate the Pluto warhead somewhere safe. Nothing. Never mind. <laughs> I love this boss. She seems happy. She's been tense these past couple of days. She's somehow relaxed now. Good. Are you all set? Yep. All right. Let's pick some music. I'm just gonna go ra like r random. Let's pick let's pick some sick ass ones.
This is really high energy, but I really like it. Oh, it's, or it's already there. I should keep this one. Yeah, this one's nice. Keep her, keep her removed. I feel like we can do better. is pretty epic. I like this one a lot. Yeah, I like this one a lot. Is it okay if I add it? Because we were like, no. I don't hear this one. It's really quiet. Okay, yeah. I, I just don't hear this one. So it's getting removed. It's okay. Yeah. It might have been one of these, or... It was... It was some title that sounded like really freaking emo. thinking it might have been this one, but it's not. It doesn't have that thing that you were talking about. Boring. This one? No. Oh, we have this one. No, I'm talking about, like, when we, uh... One we didn't pick. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm picking ones that we didn't pick. Hmm. It was near the end. It was, uh... No. Oh, fuck's sake. Yeah, I suck it. Yeah, I suck it. Oh, thank you. Oh, I timed him out. I look like um. Got it. Report. Spam. Spam. Bye. We're lurking while at work. I won't be able to hear anything for a while. No worries. That's okay. That's okay. Just enjoy the wife, the bartender, the the waifus at the bar. 
just enjoy the sound of waifu bartending. Mm hmm. No. no. Maybe base of titans? No, it wasn't. Just no. Me. No, it wasn't that one. I don't this, remember, honestly. This is really nice ambiance. Yeah. Oh, you have that one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe it was before nine. Eighties. It's really jazzy, but it's not the song we're thinking of. Yeah, yeah. I like it, though. I do like it. One more back? Uh, this one? I keep... No. Big... I keep remembering that last time we didn't want to make everything too heavy, and then there, we, there was a bunch of heavy songs. Yeah. Mm, way too like boring. don't remember what it was anymore. Me neither. Oh! Too much. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, man. No, you have that. Where I have that? I already have, I already have this. Yes, <laughs> this one just has no sound. Yeah, nothing. I already have that one too. I don't know. I I Did those dwell in shadows or neo avatar. This might be no, it. That might be it. Oh, yeah. that one's pretty sick too. Yeah. Oh god. Ah! <laughs> It's taking us so long to choose the music. I know! <laughs> this is just the music. I want this one. Sick. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Are we good? We're good. We're, we're, good. we're great. Awesome. <laughs> Time to mix drinks and chit. Yeah! Oh, Miss Kim. Oh my god, I love her. <laughs> because of you, I got up late and lost a full day of work. And the day everyone got a nifty assignment, too. Wait, because of me? You were the one that got me drunk and made me fall asleep like a goddamn log. So you arrived home safely, that's nice. And then that's, that's all you have to say? What do you want me to say? I felt... <laughs> If I felt remorse over every client that gets drunk in here, I wouldn't be working. But, but... True, morally speaking, I shouldn't let people get drunk. <laughs> but getting people drunk is the unspoken main purpose of my job. <laughs> that part. Right. And I did say that I didn't know how much alcohol you could handle, didn't I? Which is right. 
is right. I, ah! Seriously, what kind of answer is that? Ah, uh, hello, Mr. Donovan. Do I know you? Hey, <laughs> Brad, you're in luck. I decided to bless this place again. Luck, he says. Oh, well, Mr. Donovan, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? What do you think I want, kid? A big old beer. Large beer. I'm a bartender at a tender bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my God, Jill. I'm sorry, Jill. That that was terrible. Jill, I'm reevaluating my opinion on you. You may be incredibly attractive, but stop. Jill's <laughs> <laughs> a cutie. We're a cutie confirmed. By the way, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Yes, now that's what I call service. That's good to hear. What brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? Today, we were supposed to hand the interns an article topic. All those crazy bitches came flocking me like the first high schooler in a car. What? Oh, with the car. I couldn't do with it, so I switched places with some poor sap. He was supposed to do doing an interview today, but the hell with that. And thanks to all that shit, I found myself here blessing your hellhole with my presence. You were here yesterday, too. How did that come about? There's this gal that's performing at a concert later tonight. Yesterday, I was turning to in the details of the interview I'd have, I'd have with her today. And like I said, I'd rather work here than deal with a pack of competitive bitches. Hey. How was the interview? Easy enough, the fact that the gal had a nice pair of knockers helped. Oh my god. Bruh. I'm a long way in the department of lim lemon sex appeal, did I tell you? What? She was a lilim then. What? What's a lilim? What's a lilim? Lil yes, one of those. What's a lilim? What's a lilim? Yes, one of those new fancy king class cheat CH1A models. What? Chia, like Chia Pet? Chia, right? I heard they're on top of the. I heard they're on top of the correct in every way. I wouldn't mind finding out about that one. Bro! I'm just a bartender, Mr. Donovan. <laughs> dudes dudes Im imply that he would stick his dick in it. <laughs> hmm? yeah, you, you know what, noob? I sincerely, I sincerely, huh. with all my heart and soul, don't think it's an unheard of topic that men would stick their dick in, like, most places. You right. You right. But he's as like long as it's a hole and it's relatively moist. There you go. <laughs> but he's actively saying it more. <laughs> but you're right. You're very right. <laughs> hey, you, the guy with the with the John face. Huh? Me? What the hell is a John face? Yeah, you. Do, do I know you? I don't think so, sir. No, 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 I'm pretty sure I know you. Wait, wait, wait. If it, it was the Hong Kong riots ten years ago, right? I, I, I've never been to Hong Kong, and I certainly didn't defect from any anti-riot force after stealing supplies. Really? That's a bummer. Damn! Gillian was, like, admitting to it. it. I know, that was so, like... <laughs> I definitely didn't do all of that, which you didn't even specify. Yeah, right? You look like a guy who owes me a drink. You were in those riots, Mr. Donovan? Do I look like some anarchist hippie to you? Yeah. Yeah. Actually. Ten years ago, I tried to start a silicone business. Uh-huh, yeah. How'd that go for you? So, I was in Hong Kong talking with some investors about when those damn riots broke out. Seriously, though, they really think the laws they're trying to pass wouldn't backfire? Oh boy! <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> you know what's the awkward part about this? This game was written three years before 2019. Damn. <laughs> oh, God. That's crazy. Right? I mean, they also pushed some laws earlier. Whoop. Hey, Snow. What's up? Hey, what's up? They were openly trying to segregate people with augmentations. No matter how many they have different capabilities you put in between, it's still segregation. And once people start crying segregation like that, you're doomed. This is a PR century. If you're gonna do that, disguise it a bit. That's a very la laconic way of summarizing the innocent. <laughs> Chill! The incident. I swear to God, what is with these games and using, like, ten cent words? <laughs> That's a SAT word right there. I know! What is laconic. What does laconic mean again? Do, am I getting actively stupider post college? Same. <laughs> Big same. Huh. <sighs> I mean, there was a political agenda revolving around cheap labor. Laconic. Adjective. Using or marked by the use of few words. Terse or concise. Okay. Ah. <laughs> The more you know. Right? And the plan reached such a developed stage because the media was instilling fear in the public. Well, okay, yeah, because I, sh I answered a parent to when I should have. Oh. <laughs> Snow made a mistake. Ah, uh, yes. The <laughs> ultimate mistake. <laughs> I should have just pretended to sleep. That part, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, honk shoe, honk shoe. Yeah, all right, honk shoe, honk. Uh, honk shoe or honk me me me? Which one are you? <laughs> are you? The general. Huh? Wait, you you don't go. Are you are you a honk shoe or a honk me me me? I'm I'm more of a honk shoe, but I also like wake up the entire neighborhood, so. I was actually 98% sleep, too. I should have counted it as 100. You should have. That sucks. The general fear that augmented people would become power-hungry maniacs was a key factor in the plans. And everything is mostly the aftermath of previous protests where... He doesn't give a shit. No, he doesn't. On second thought, maybe it's better to be laconic. <laughs> Trying to get the full picture may take you back beyond the industrial revolution. Well, that happened when I got out of high school. Remembered I had to turn down a scholarship in Hong Kong because of all of that. <laughs> scholarship, that's no mean feed, Pratt. Well, I guess even without the scholarship, there would have been the language barrier. I remember I was kind of excited back then because I was really into this one Chinese idol band. It's one of those things I'd rather not remember much of. <laughs> You'd be surprised at how easy Chinese can be. I hate both of you. <laughs> <laughs> You're sitting there like... Wasn't easy for me! I spent my entire life... Chinese? The only translator I had available was some pizza face pencil neck. And I wasn't gonna allow myself to be seen with that. If someone like me can learn Chinese in two weeks, well. What the what, fuck? What? In two weeks? <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? Jeez, dude. I'm guessing a scholarship student might have had a chance. How do I feel like you suddenly challenged me to finally learn Chinese? Bro, he's gonna come at you. He's gonna come at you. <laughs> Full Cantonese, dude. Right? And you're gonna have to just sit there and take it. Either embarrass yourself or reply to him. Yeah, right. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Chinese? Wait, when you say Chinese, do you mean Mandarin or Cantonese? Let's fucking go, dude. <laughs> 
that part. Which one? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Tangerine, cancel what? When people say Chinese, they're usually referring to the written word, not the spoken one. It's important to clarify because there are lots of dialects in the Chinese language. Mm hmm. In Hong Kong, lots of people speak Cantonese, so just saying Chinese won't do. Uh huh, keep going. <laughs> you might have learned Cantonese because you were only going to Hong Kong. Or you might have learned Mandarin because it's the one spoken by the majority elsewhere. I went to Hong Kong and managed to seal a deal. I have no, no idea about anything else. Right. God, this guy infuriates me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, How so? Just give him another beer. Just get him extra drunk. I'll steal his money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, surely a student. Surely a student with the scholarship can serve me a Mars Blast too, right? Sure can. <clears throat> sure, on it. The lead actor of Night of the ID Snatcher's names was... Ah, I can almost remember it. <laughs> I like her thoughts when she's making drinks. Right? Mars Blast. Oh my god, this is a big drink. That is a big drink. One, two, three, four. One, two. All blended, okay. And Just gotta wait. Gotta wait. Stop. Paching. Here. All right. I guess I'll believe your story. Bro's just like, yes, drinks, right? Yes. Drinks. Right. Hey kid, I got wasted yesterday, so there's a certain protocol here. Would you mind telling me if I said anything someone could use against me in a court of law? Unless complaining about your investors can be used as a legal weapon, I don't think so. Oh good. Fuck those sons of bitches. Bro! <laughs> Bruh. What did I tell you? How they wanted unreasonable stuff, how they felt like they had more power than you do and all that. Oh. Oh yeah, I recall something like that. But then again, it seems it seems to be something I say a lot when drunk. That and racial slurs in German. Oh, that's you. <laughs> that and racial slurs in German. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. What? Oh, you know. Yeah, I, I just get drunk and say racist shit in German, right? That's a normal yeah. thing that normal people do, right? Absolutely. Racial slurs in what? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. There are worse people worse than your investors. your clients, bro. Excuse me? Your readers. If you think clients are always right, you're wrong. Unless I'm the client, that is. I live in an era where PR is the first and only word in anything. You can sell the shittiest stuff and people will still buy it if you're the apple of their eyes. But make one fucking mistake and it's over for you. You're suddenly a criminal to them. No chance of an appeal, God forbid, if they ever catch something you said out of context. A month ago, we had to clarify that we were talking about the animal in an article when, oh, about cougars in nearby forests. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a bunch of a bunch of older women just sitting there <laughs> in the amongst the trees. <laughs> They're just ready to pounce on like any young guy walking by. Yeah, <laughs> just like oh shit. Well, because we got a pack of 40 year old divorced soccer moms crying about hurt feelings. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, you're the ones that said y'all were cougars, not us. Alright. They were having picnic parties in the same forest and we thought we were writing about them. <laughs> Ooh. 
You know? If the shoe It's actually really funny. If the shoe fits though, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> God, at least one... God, I hope at least one of them gets eaten by their damn namesake. God, it's so funny. <laughs> Even Jill thinks it's funny. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny when somebody else hears it, but it's the smell of rosy perfume. The smell of rosy perfume so makes my blood boil. <laughs> Damn. Nowadays, nobody can take a joke. They're always out for blood. True. Honestly, you can't True. win. True. You can't win. You will always offend somebody. And while some take it graciously, many just love feeling insulted. God. <laughs> they relish the thought. God. Of Relish the thought of ganging up against someone. God! <laughs> and those hypersensitive the bastards are your clients. They're the ones you have to target. I run a goddamn news. Facts. I know, right? <laughs> I run a goddamn newspaper. The whole point is to present news in the most neutral way possible. And being offended by a newspaper is like being angry at the mirror. <laughs> Fair. Yeah, I love this guy. I hate him, but I love him. You hate to love him. Yeah. Go with that. I mean, it's not like he's totally wrong, but... Hearing it from him is kinda... Agree. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Agree. Damn, look at the time. I need to get back to work soon. Really? I'll just finish an interview and must be posted as soon as possible. In fact, we're posting it after the chick finished her concert. There's enough of a problem already. Something delayed the interview? The interview was supposed to happen last Friday. One of the interns, this meek little girl, was supposed to do it, but for some fucking reason she just didn't. I spent two days negotiating something else instead. Damn. Negotiating? Did you have to pay or something? Basically, when that encore concert happens, I need to plaster that chick's face all over the front page. Okay then, one last drink before I leave. Give me something bitter to wake me up. Sure. So like the <laughs> same thing we did last time. Wait, wait, if only I could remember that song's lyrics. <laughs> oh. Uh, by Flavor, Bitter. Because, didn't we... Oh, we can fuck him up. I remember we made him one of these. Let me go pile driver might be a good or a suplex. He says strong and bitter bitter, huh? Yeah. I'm thinking I guess suplex or pile driver. Yeah. What's a pile driver? Three, three, four. Three, three, four. Okay. Suplex is four, three, three. On the rocks. I would go with suplex then. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. On the rocks. rocks. Mix. Yeah, this works just fine. You know, I feel like I should compensate the poor bastard that took the heat today. Oh? Yeah, the kid Joel, Gene Guillermo, Hirohito, I can't remember his name. That kid is always gushing about that idol I interviewed. I can't remember anyone for shit, but he's annoying enough to make me remember him. So I don't know. I feel like I, I cock-blocked him big time by taking his gig away. <laughs> Damn. Worst of all, I'm left to fend off a pack of crazy bitches. And that's something I wouldn't wish on anyone, not even my worst enemies. Well, maybe two of them. You're sounding so considerate right now. <laughs> that doesn't usually happen. Yeah, alright. I'm no saint kid, but I'm a man. Bro! But I'm a man. And a man must never cop-lock another man unless he's trying to fuck your mom. 
Question. Did I stutter? <laughs> oh. <laughs> so not if it's your dad. Only if it's your mom. <laughs> Only if it's your mom. Got it. Maybe you can get him tickets or something. Nah, see that'd be that mean he'd be off work and I need to be on my on my back and call tonight. I've seen that brat talk to no no end about her, so I know I'll let him write about her somewhere else in the newspaper. Give him the food critics column and shit anyways. Right. <laughs> I'm so fucking nice. I'm out, kid. Thank you, please come again. That'd be something interesting to see, I guess. That was um tiring. Agree. Yeah. Hey Jill, I think I have a problem. Don't tell me. Yep, I can't take the helmet. <laughs> God. <laughs> Dana, I love you. You're an awesome boss, but there's no brain in there, is there? Dana, please. <laughs> the Gillian's dying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. Did you check the internet for help? How to take off, how to take off a Valkyrie-type white knight helmet is not precisely a common query, is there? You know? I can break it, but I don't want to damage a client's proper. What? Did you run out of air? I just realized you served a Valkyrie in Valhalla. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and? Shit, don't scare me like that. I don't think you can run out of air in this with this helmet. What are you gonna do? I know someone that might help me. I'll give her a call. Let's see, where was her number? Oh, here it is. Hey, Iris, I need some unclogging advice. What? Iris? I've heard the chief call her a couple of times. Maybe she's a friend? More importantly, will chief be fine? She will. Even if there's no god or Buddha, you can always trust Bosh. Jill, you have a lot of faith in this woman. She is in love with this woman. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's hope you're right. There's no way Jill is straight. No, not in a hundred years. Hey, honey, can you see me? Ah, oh, Dorothy. Yeah, I can see you. Why? Really? Man, did they sell me the, the wrong stuff? Oh. Huh? They sold you what? Jill, I'm going out for a bit to buy a screwdriver, bacon, and... What? Huh? A screwdriver, bacon... A bacon? <laughs> a bacon. Are you talking to yourself again? No, I'm not. Oh. Hello, Dorothy, wherever you are. I'll be back in a bit then. She didn't see you? Oh, I get it now. What? You sold me a, a VIC jammer, not an optic camouflage system. Um, care to explain? Have you seen those pics or videos of someone stripping or undressing? But I mean the ones where the clothes are the only things you see and the other person is invisible? Come again? There's people out there with the fetish for invisible people. Aw. Aw. <laughs> Sorry. Processing. <laughs> you only see a few articles of clothes floating about. Uh huh. I'm trying to find something that would let me cater to that fetish, but my contact misunderstood my request. Dorothy, what do you do? Yeah, Dorothy, what is your... What is your... 
profession. Right she now. works the oldest profession, probably. Probably. Yeah. I asked him to bring something that made me invisible, and he did. But I'm only invisible to cameras. And then, wouldn't your clothes be invisible too with such a jammer or something? Hmm, you have a point. Well, I'll work something out. Maybe I'll get a nano camo module. Nano camo? Haven't you heard of nano camo? They're a military technology company that recently branched to civilian appliances. We use nanotechnology to make fabric or other materials to take any color or texture you want. You can order a module from them and change the colors of clothes, walls, or tables with it. That's cool. That sounds nice. Hmm, sounds interesting. Maybe I'll look it up. What does that have to do with what we want, though? If I remember correctly, they have a module that makes things almost invisible to the human eye. It was quite pricey last I checked, though. Almost? To the human eye? Well, it's not perfect. If you move, you'd be an eerie surroundings colored blob. <laughs> and we Lilim see things differently, so it's ineffective against us. Mmm. Lilim or Robits? Oh, excuse me, Lilim. Okay, Lilim or Robits. Understood. Or augmented humans, at least. Yeah. Still, it might be what I need. Now, what was that thing of, about talking to yourself again? Bro. Uh, nothing important. What are you having? You, you, you saw that too, right? I did. Okay. Do you want to read her for the rest of this bit? Yeah, I'll get it. I'm in a good mood, so give me a piano woman. Sure. What? That was boss's face too, like that. I'm sorry, what? She's definitely... 100%. Into her boss. Mm-hmm. Jill... Would love listening to Dodie and Lady in Red. Yeah. All mixed. One piano woman. Thanks, I love these ones, you know? I keep them for special occasions when I'm feeling good or when I need to get out of a slump. And today? Today I feel good. That's nice. Okay then, how's this for a bonus payment? Oh, the ticket from Friday. I can't believe I still remember that. The guy was so nice in giving it to me. You bet I was filled to the brim with dogs. I would have enjoyed the drink here otherwise. I don't think this ticket should be valid. Then again, they were improvised, so they really didn't get contract involved or anything. You know? Hmm? If you're lonely enough to start talking to yourself, we can get an arrangement. <laughs> what kind of arrangement? Keep me fed and I'll keep you company. Are you asking us out? I'm not sure. <laughs> cool. Cool. You'll still need to pay if you want to get naughty, though. I. Hmm. I think I'll pass. I already have a cat that does all that. Think about what you're saying there for a second, Jill. Do you pay him to? Finish that sentence, and I'll make sure you truly become invisible. <laughs> I think she does know what's happening. Oh, okay, okay. 
Fine. Consider this a standing offer, though. She's just too in love with her boss. True. God. No. Oh, hey, John. No. Uh, Dorothy. Didn't see you there last Friday. I was dealing with some stuff over the weekend. And Monday. Yeah, yeah. Was it a girl? I wish. What did you do? What did you do? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey, honey. What did you do? bill has been a complete mystery for as long as I've known him. His past is like a nebulous mass that tries to bite him every once in a while. <laughs> nebulous? You hear so much random stuff, it's hard to make connections about what happened when. And you know, people lie. Did your boss know about it? She said, I'm not one to judge. It seems like she knows what the hell's going on. But I think I'm better off not knowing. It's not that really that necessary, and it's a pain to think about. I'm right here, you know? Did I tell any lies? No, but... Never mind. <laughs> oh yeah, about your boss. Oh, she wearing a helmet. She found it. She put it on. Now she's stuck. Oh, yeah, rarely putting on stuff you find is problematic. Oh shit. <laughs> I mean, there's a girl that I wanted to see. If she could use a glass bottle as a- Stop! Bruh. <laughs> um, a bit early for those stories, don't you think? Nope. By the way, it's weird that I didn't see you yesterday. I have a job too, you know? Yeah, but you usually come before you start. Aw, uh, did you miss me that much? Yesterday was a bit different. I worked the entire day. I don't know <laughs> if I should ask. No, it was weird, but not kinky weird? The guy paid me to spend all day pretending to be his doctor. What? Really? Yeah, I got to his house at 11 a.m., dressed as requested, and spent all day there. Play some games, occasionally tell him I love him, go to bed when ordered, and leave. Nothing sexual. I used to expect, expect him to push me against the ground, have his whip. <coughs> have his whip. Uh. But after three years, it's unlikely that that'll happen. Three years? Oops. Yeah, one day a year for three years now. Oh, but last year he also wanted me to play the part in his daughter's birthday. Aww. Wait a second, does he have a daughter or not? Had she seems, she, seems she died four years ago. Aww. 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 Dorothy, you were expecting a little too much where the dude just wants a daughter. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is her job. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Oh. Yep, I seem to attract that kind of people for some reason. What kind of people? Nobody. I said nothing. Give me a move last, would you? Sure. And I dozed off. <laughs> I love her thoughts. It's literally like what I think of while I'm bartending. Yeah, right? It's just, there's no, it, it's just, you're just doing your job and you're just like, yeah, yeah. Oh, the, the sky's purple today. <laughs> Stop being relatable, Jill. Here. There's something interesting about this drink. I don't actually like it, but I can't stop drinking them. It tastes like a bit of sugar drowned in pure alcohol. Small wonder you feel like that. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yes, I'm single. I don't mind that you're a girl. 
Dorothy. Dorothy. <laughs> you actually mind who, what anyone is? I don't know. Oh, she's Pan. That's fair. Anyway, it's not about that. Do all DFC 72s look like kids? Yes and no. On the factory, we need to look like kids because our development needs to be as close to human as possible. And you look like babies outside the factory? Nope, every fresh DF-72 looks about 10 to 13. Makes it easier to upgrade later. Upgrade? Once a DF-72 DF passes three maturity tests, it can opt for a factory upgrade. That upgrade alters its body to something older. Some go for it, some don't. Will you go through it? Oh god! <laughs> I mean, she looks 10 to 13. Sorry, sorry. I just, the thought, the, everything clicked and it made me disgusted. Yep. <laughs> I don't know, right now I'm a rarity. <clears throat> no, fine, many like me in my line of work, so I have an advantage. She looks ten to th she looks ten to thirteen. Wonders why she gets people who want to want her to RP as daughter or have. <laughs> uh. yeah, I really need that advantage, you know. How so? When people hire me half the time. It's not because of me. The amount of role-playing I have to do on a normal night is ridiculous. Ah, uh, it's a lot of RP. But if I stop looking underage, I'll lose my advantage over everyone else. I didn't think about it that way. I read that in my head. It's okay. Did I think about it at all? No. no. <laughs> don't, don't harm yourself with the thoughts. I know, right? I mean, maybe I'll go through if I ever decide to retire or something. No, but right now, I'm just fine the way I am. Hmm. I'm so happy that you think that. Mm-hmm. I see. Mm-hmm. Mm. Good evening, Gil. Welcome, Welcome to... to Does that happen a lot? Wait, do you want to swap off? Because <laughs> now there's a guy on stage? Sure. Okay. Does that happen a lot? Not really. It would happen less if Jill would just let people call her Jules. Call me Jules and I'll make sure every time you sit you hear the cling of your shaker. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Ow. Fine, fine. I'll be with you in a minute, Jamie. Just let me finish here. Sure, no hurry. Hello, sailor. Hello, young lady. Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, right? Nice to meet you, Dorothy. Hey, hey, let me buy you a drink. Oh, I couldn't let you do that. Insist! I got a hefty bonus the other day, and I'm t and today I'm in a good mood. I suppose it'd be impolite for, of me to reject. Sure, I'll take one. I'll take your offer. Yay, honey! I'll have a big sh sunshine cloud. We'll be fine with just a cut punch. Come on, don't be stingy. Ask for something more expensive. A big sunshine cloud, okay? I'd rather not. Man, that girl puts me on the edge with the way she addresses people. Okay. okay, then let me get your orders. Sunshine cloud, gut punch. Okay, here we go. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh. Oh, thank you. 
We can just do both. Hey. Uh, sunshine and cloud. So, oh, how much? Do I, how much? How drunk do we want to get her? Oh, that's a great question. Uh, two, one. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Just to make it a nice ten, right? Yeah. On the rocks, blended. Okay. And then he wanted and a gut punch. Gut punch. Uh, two. Yeah. All aged and mixed. Here and here. Thank you. All in order. Thank you, Dorothy. Don't mention it. Thank you, Jill. My job. Hey, Dorothy, may I ask you something, uh, private? If you need a price list, I have a convenient card with updated fees. <laughs> I can give you a discount if you pay for the room or invite me to dinner. Girl! No, thank you, it's not about that. And go ahead, I don't think you can ask me something I've never been asked before. Is it true that the DF-72 line leaves tracking nano machines in the other person after, well... After they violate every hole in your body regardless of its original purpose? <laughs> <coughs> yes. <laughs> Jesus. That's a semi-myth that nobody has tried to dispel. It's true, but also not true at the same time. You care to explain. We do have tracking nanomachines, but they're released when the body enters alert mode. When we're being assaulted or the like. That way, authorities can chase down the attacker. Oh. Oh, that's convenient. Kind of buggy, though. I've heard stories of DFC 72 and Mary get nervous on their wedding night, and BAM! Their partners end up spending the honeymoon in jail. <laughs> I see. Besides, I've modded myself so much that if any tracking nanomachines were still being released, I'd have to commend their tenacity, to be honest. Oh. <laughs> Dorothy, Damn, why? that's not safe for you. Dorothy worries me. A bit. There's also this urban myth that those nanomachines help improve performance, but that's just silly. Now I get to ask you something. Sure, go ahead. How much of you is still organic? Just enough that my skin still heals over time. Come on, you know that's what I, not what I mean. I'll tell you that, nothing more, like lady. <laughs> Damn. What a pervert. I know, right? Fine, see if I care. She just want. she's literally just, like, after her job, and just like, yes, I'm down to fuck. It's like, ready for more. <laughs> I mean, I'm going. I'll leave you with the Mimi. <laughs> Thank you. Please come again. And that girl's something else, huh? She's so earnest about what she does that it's kind of hard not to root for her. Agree. <laughs> it's, it's worrying, but agree. Yeah. She also has no qualms about anything whatsoever, and that becomes a problem from time to time. Yeah. Agree. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm done here. Alright, I'm gonna go and take my... Go! I need your curly hands here for a sec! That's so funny. Coming. Curly hands. <laughs> Sorry, can you take of him? Take care of him while I help her. <laughs> sure, no problem. <laughs> I apologize for taking time for your break. Nah, don't worry. Sorry, you'll have to deal with me. <laughs> You're no problem, Jill. Yeah, but you usually seem to have less than Jill's one serving you. Anyway, you wanted something else? Can you make me a Mars blast? 
That I can. Hey, yo. Just me about boss again. God. Mars Blast. Mars Blast. Okay. Six, one, four, two. Six, one. Jesus. All big... blended. It's a big old drink, yo. Yeah, it is. Bitter and mind numbing, just like war. Bruh. Have you been to war? Life's a war we fight every day, Jill. Also, why are all these people oversharing with the bartender like every single time they come in? There. I have never once wanted to tell a bartender my life story. Me neither. But the. Have you been to like a quiet bar though? That's fair. Yeah. There's, there are no quiet bars in LA. What are you talking about? I've been to a, I've been to a couple quiet bars actually. There's a couple around me that are like really nice. One of them mm. does uh, steak and beer uh, steak and beer deals on Tuesdays. I've thought mm. about it. <laughs> it's... See, I've never been to a quiet bar before. Yeah. Every single bar I've been to has really loud music. Yeah, the place that I went. Well, okay, the place that I went to, the places around me. The music's kind of loud, but you still can actually have a conversation with the bartender. Ah. Yeah. And usually there's not too many people there. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you haven't been to a war? Not an official one, at least. Something I've been wondering for a while now. What could that be? First, it was how a professional assassin could be so polite and pleasant to be around. But I guess your line of work doesn't have to have any bearing on your personality. Thanks a lot. What I've often wondered about is how you can be so calm here. Aren't you worried about police or the like? Well, first of all, I try to keep everything as clean as possible. Second, I don't come here looking for trouble, so I don't raise suspicion. You know, finally, you can thank your boss for easing my mind about other folks. My boss? I've seen what she's done. I feel safe here. What? Huh? J you need to elaborate. So what has she done? She could take care of things if I went haywire. Oh, got it. Um. Hey, why are you? Don't mind that. Or not to mind it if you just said. Hmm. You wouldn't happen to know how she got her mechanical arm, would you? I heard she lost her original fighting a cyborg wrestler that had gone rogue. Just a rumor, though. Damn, I still don't know then. Let me try to ask her. She told me it's more interesting if it's left a mystery. Which leads me to believe she might have started some of those rumors herself. Yeah. <laughs> yep. They're believable. They're believable because she's her. Maybe I'll see her in action one day. You should. It's quite the show. Good news, Jill. The helmet came off, and you can take your break. Finally. It's always a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Chill. Boss break. All right, bro. <laughs> Just pretty cute. Safe. Hey. It's now safe to keep playing. Now safe to keep playing. Safe. Safe. Hmm. Well, I should clean the chicken buckets as she throws out. Everyone can smell the spice from a mile away. Mm, chicken. Same. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Yeah. I wanna figure it out. You could take a couple minutes more, you know. I'm fine, thanks. How did you get the helmet off? Turns out the release button was jammed with ashes. 
Whoever owns that helmet made sure to use it to the point of avoiding the warranty. Keep it safe in case she comes back, okay? Sure. Now, take care. Take it away from me before I start, start before I feel compelled to put it back on again. Oh, Bruh. Dana, why? <laughs> why are you like this? Right. Yes. Yes, it's open. Great. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, who are you? <laughs> Same thought. Hello? Good evening. Um, what kind of place is this? Did I step into some kind of afterlife? You often enter places without knowing what they are? Sorta, kinda, yeah? Well, this is a bar. A bar? Nice, nice. What can I get you? I don't know. I don't drink that much, to be honest. What do you recommend for me? What do you normally enjoy? I like tea. That's not something I can work with. <laughs> what about flavors? Bitter, but not too bitter? Sorry if it's too confusing. Something bitter, but not too much. Maybe something bitter and girly? Hey, yo, let's go. Yo, let's go. Let me see what I can get you. <laughs> Still thinking about the actor. Yeah. Uh, bitter girly. Uh, bitter, bitter and girly. Uh huh. Bitter manly. Bitter manly. Bitter manly. Bitter manly. Bitter manly. Okay, so sunshine bitter promo. Yeah, so yeah, sunshine cloud. You're right. Agree. One, two, one, two. Optional. Uh, she doesn't drink. Okay, on the rocks and blended. this. Yep, this will do just fine. Thanks. I don't like clear from around from around here. What brought you by, Miss? I'm the star that always shines in the dark night sky. Um, a I'm, name? I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. Name? I'm the northern light that will show you in your dreams. Name? <laughs> Oh! Oh shit! I'm Kira Miki. So, should I call you Miss Miki or Miss Kira? Are, are we gonna? Do, do I have to put on a Vocaloid voice now? <laughs> <laughs> I should have known she looks like Miku. I know, right? No, you're not getting it. I'm just Kira Miki. Here, let me help you. I'll say Kira and you say Miki, okay? Okay. Kira? Thank you. No, no, no. Put more spirit into it. Kira? Miki. Almost there. Kira? Miki. Kira? Miki. Kira? Miki! Kira? Miki! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love her! I love her so much! <laughs> That's it? Are you feeling it? I'm feeling it, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> Kira? <laughs> Miki! <laughs> Miki. <laughs> oh, Kira? Kira? Miki. <laughs> I love how Gillian is just standing right behind her. Right? <laughs> and don't you ever forget it. <laughs> Everyone's just... What is happening? Everybody's like, huh? What the hell? What the hell am I doing out here? Um, where were we, Jamie? Right, I was telling you. <laughs> wow, you're good. <laughs> Everyone was just there. Everyone was just like, what the fuck happened? What, what did I do? What happened to me? Thank you. 
It's nice to know I can. I still have it. Especially since I have a concert. Girl, why are you at a bar? Why are you at a bar if we have a concert? Yeah. <laughs> concert? Don't you have like promoters and people like like your PR people to, like help you through this? What? Yeah, like where are they at? Wait, you're the Lilim that's putting on a concert tonight? I'm one Lilim who is putting on a concert tonight. I don't know if I'm the same Lilim you're looking for. What are you doing all the way down here? No, they were making the last preparations for the concert, so I snuck out. The producer is always obnoxious while while that's going on, so I just decided to leave, bro. Bro. I saw one of the concert's posters outside and decided to check this place. Check this place. What's that? Isn't that a bit dangerous? Won't your producer be mad when you go back? He will, but it's not the first time I've done something. I've done, bro, done this. Bro. And he still needs me to do the concert anyway. I see. How big is the concert? We plan for a bit over 100,000 people. It's pulled out fast. Oh my god. Holy shit, that's the whole ass Rose Bowl. Damn. So we managed to secure ourselves another show in a couple of weeks. Damn. Oh, that's nice. Jill's just very chill about that. Oh yeah, that's nice. It's only a hundred thousand, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I may not have as many fans as other performers, but mine are very loyal. That's nice. Not as many. Over a hundred thousand is not many? Then what exactly is? It, she's like looking at that one Metallica concert that played to like 1.2 million people that like never happened again. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Then based on your little demonstration from before, should I call you Miss Miki, right? You don't get it. Let's start from the top. No. No. I'll just call you Miss Idol. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Hey, do you have anything soft? Soft as in alcohol free? No, I meant soft as in soft. Soft? Let's see what I can get you. What? What? Uh, <laughs> I type? I type. I I type. My type. Okay. Girly. Sugar rush. Fluffy dream. Oh, you're right. You're right. There it is. Wait, by type. Yeah, you're right. Fluffy dream. One, two, three. And no. No alcohol no, for her. I'm just doing a concert. <laughs> All mixed. Okay. Try right, this. Yeah, this will do it. Thanks. Hey, have you considered being more theatrical and mixing drinks? You know, you know, like spinning bottles and lighting drinks on fire, that kind of stuff. When I was in college, I tried going to a party once. The bartender who tried those tricks gave me a nasty bump on the forehead when the bottle slipped his hand. <laughs> those kinds of theatrics usually feel pointless and seem to slow down the process of actually, actually making a drink. You know, but never underestimate the power of putting on a good show. It can feel incredible and be very rewarding, you know? Keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Hey, is this class important? Depends on why you're asking. Do you want me to sign it? Oh, sure, I guess. No guessing, are you sure or not? Yeah, do as you please. 
I like how Jill is just not realizing. She just has like a big pop star in her bar just drinking. She's just like, eh, yeah, good. yeah. Okay then, who should I make it up to? Maybe for my boss? I wonder if Gil would like it though. Your name, girl. Oh, for Jill then. For Jill, never lose your star from Kira Mickey. Oh, that's a pretty autograph. Thanks. No, thank you. I'm guessing someone with as many fans as you has their fair share of, share of stalkers, right? Well, there are two kinds of people with that obsess over me. There are the shy ones that follow me everywhere, hiding just out of sight. Mm. Mm. And then there's my fan club. What's the difference between them? The fan club follows me around a lot too, but they usually keep a distance. Huh? Actually, I think they're outside waiting for me right now. I see. They're also very organized. They'll make pretty good soldiers. The others, the stalkers, are a bit sneakier and don't act in groups. I'm guessing those stalkers must be bothersome, huh? Actually, they're not that bad. Stalkers are nice when you get used to them. Well? I remember one once processed me, protected me from being mugged. What? Well? There's another that breaks into my house once a week to make me breakfast. What? Well? And she fails to see the problem? <laughs> exactly! <laughs> I just wish they would leave my underwear drawer the same way they find- Bro. Bruh. I take pride in how neatly I organize my underwear, you know? I take pride in my old liquor collection. I guess it's the same. No, wait, it isn't. <laughs> yeah, you get me, Jill. Okay, one more drink before I go. And now the state should be all organized, so the fallout should the fallout should be settled. Should have settled. Isn't it a bit late for a concert? It's a part of my gimmick. I always make concerts that go from night till dawn. And this one, I'm supposed to be I'm supposed to be I'm supposed to close with a song called Sunshine Stone. If everything goes as planned, the weather forecast is accurate. The sun should come up just as I reach the climax of this song. Jesus Christ, this is a six hour six to eight hour concert. Yeah, jeez. It'd be depressed if they ask for your love is a drug is an encore though. That sounds nice. Hey, I need to make people feel they're tick you know, they're worth the ridiculous price, you know. Ah yes, yeah, several thousand dollars probably. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Don't you think it sucks? to pay for something only to find out you shouldn't have bothered? Yeah, one time I bought some expensive coffee in this one cafe. This is like filthy water with cream. I still don't even know if it was the coffee or the girl that served it, but it was bad. Man, that sucks. Speaking of which, do you have anything bitter? I really need to wake myself up. Let's see what I can find for you. Bitter. Uh, hmm. Let's do Gut Punch, because it has optional. Yeah. I feel like so did uh, the Sunshine. Oh, it did. Cloud. Oh. Bitter, girly, and soft. Yeah. Let's do, the, let's, let's do this. Yeah, I feel like you'd like that. Yeah. Oops. Uh, rocks and Blended. this yeah this works so how is it it could be a bit sweeter but it's delicious eh, that's fine I figured it was for waking you up or something so really nice thanks I hope you aren't offended by this question but hmm 
I can see that you enjoy what you do, but how much is, of it is about the music? I'll let you know that before I became... Bef I'll let you know that before I, before becoming Kira Miki, I was a very accomplished pianist. I had concerts every week and part-time to bars with a jazz band. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> that's pretty fun. I still write and compose my own songs. Wow. Like a change. Going from jazz and piano to idol. Have you ever thought about the power music has over people? You could argue it's just noise, but you can make it feel a whole wi a wide range of emotions. And that power is universal. It could transcend language and culture. Being a jazz band or performing recitals, I can only take that power to so many people. But being an idol, I can take that power and spread it far and wide. Kids and adults, men and women, they all have access to my music, and I can reach every one of them. Wow. What music do you like, Jill? I'm not picky, but I do prefer versions with no lyrics. Why? I like to listen to music while and lyrics distract me. Besides, it always bothers me when people nonchalantly start singing songs with creepy lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I think only half the listeners actually care about what's being said. That's a bummer. I can give you a copy of my latest CD, but I don't have any at the moment. Don't worry about it. Okay then, I'm out. Thanks for helping me pass the time, Jill. Sure. Please come again. I'll make sure of it. She worries me. A lot. A bit, yeah. Will she be alright? Yeah, she'll be fine. You think she'll come back? Usually I'd say no, but honestly, I don't know. <laughs> Boss, we're done. Alright. You feel like going to that... Feel like going to that girl's concert? Nah, I don't think so. I don't have tickets anyway. Hey boss, does the name Red Comet ring any bells? Why? That was my last mon my moniker during my wrestling days. Your huh? That's what they called me during my time in the Grand Slam Fighters. They saw me coming, but they couldn't stop me before I crashed into their heads. Any reason for being red specifically? That way, I was three times faster. How did you find that out? Do you like wrestling? I didn't mention it yesterday when he saw you. I just kind of remembered it. Ah, I see. I should take you to a wrestling match sometime. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe. In any case, Gil's cleaning the glasses today, so I'll leave now. Take care. Oh, and boss? Don't cram anything on your head without thinking, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, we made bank again. We made so much money. <laughs> Grab a snack on the way home, it's on me. God damn. This boss needs to stop like giving us extra money. <laughs> that was very sweet. Mm-hmm. We are rolling in the cash. You can now. Jill is humming your. Prevent <laughs> her from getting too distracted. <laughs> we can buy the song. Yeah. And. Your love. Oh, Kira Miki poster. Yeah, we can buy that too. Your love is a. Yeah. yeah. Let's do this. Yep. Idle hell. <laughs> Let's. Where, where? I don't see it. <laughs> I don't see it. <laughs> where is it? Where is it? That. Where is it? Anyways, 
Kiramiki poster? Yep. Or Kiramiki banner? Mm. Oh, uh, Sashimono, so it's uh, that's the, the thing you wear on your, your head. Oh. Should we wear it on our head? Or should we get the poster? Let's just get a poster, it's cheaper. Fair. Poster! Poster? Poster! Poster! Jill bought what she wanted and she's pleased with herself. She will surely focus at work. Amazing. Oh my god. Alright, let's let's browse her blog. Oh. That's kinda creepy. A little bit. Thanks, GC. <laughs> Whole career, huh? Oh, we'll have a second. Okay, interesting. It's just, okay. it's just the, the idol blog. Yeah. Uh, by body goes you mean the fan club or? Uh... I perform in a rather large number of concerts every year, but even then, I can't help. Okay. Uh, uh, that worries me. Yeah. What I do to relax? A tea-like drink. Okay. Tea cocktails. Mixing the tea with vodka, rum, gin, and lime. Yeah. Ah, so she does the 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 Long Island tea, not yeah. a <laughs> not a real tea. Yep, pretty much. You name any tasty and natural combination. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Very careful about getting tipsy for a show. So, so, so it's a good thing we didn't actually give her alcohol today. Or yesterday. Yeah. Uh, let's click on all this stuff. Electric Boogaloo, stop working out on <laughs> Bruh. That's so funny. <laughs> Not this shit again. I know, right? I'm curious how a meetup would end up. Yeah. Uh huh, yeah. Give me up. Uh. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> uh, it was first class. I tripped into a guy. It hurt like hell. Oof. Oh, how was your first kiss? Oh, Aww. no! That sucks. Uh, uh, same. A great relation. K kiss <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> that is funny. Oh. Oh no. Not earthquake, million state. What? Neo San Francisco 8.6 bro. <laughs> Californians, we 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 are not happy with that. No, nah, we would die. Uh huh. That's really heavy. Uh huh. Modern sounds able to identify the quake almost an hour in advance, right in the city. Plan. What the fuck? Damn. Mm -hmm. What? How the fuck? What? That? What? That's actually. I, don't know, man. I know. <laughs> Donovan. Oh, she's the best. Holy moly! Uh, how's she was? What is? 
What just happened to this article? Donovan oh. Dawson. He. This is the. This is the. This is the. The deal he made. He has to post this. Is, this. this is him being a good writer. I know, right? Gloria Light and her. Oh. Gloria. Gloria. Oh, interesting. I'm sure we're gonna see her today. Yeah. La Smithy. It is. Oh, fuck. Boo. 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 And this you look is... pissed. It's a local page. <laughs> Dude, honestly, that's so frustrating. Yeah, that's annoying. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think we can start a new day. <laughs> no. <laughs> this was fun, though. God. I'm having a great time with this. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm so glad that we like looked through the list and we're like bartending, bartending. <laughs> I'm having a great time. This is a very chill game, as opposed to what we're used to. Yeah, honestly, dude. Okay, holy shit! Everyone is on today. What the fuck? Oh nice. Uh. Have many choices. Yeah, we have many choices. Uh. JQ Weeaboo's on V3. Oh, he just started. No, it's break time. No, no, he no, he ended. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> Didi Muse drawing. Everyone else is just playing games that we don't usually really Oh, into. it's Nat EXP's birthday. You want to say hi to him? It's been a really long time. Sure. Let's just go. By daylight. Sure, let's just go say hi and happy birthday to him. I feel like the last time we read him, he was playing Dead by Daylight too. I think he mostly plays that. <laughs> it's okay. We'll we'll raid him. Happy birthday. Happy birthday raid. Oh shit. Oh. Uh... Anyways, let's go say happy birthday to them, and then we will, uh, yeah. 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 Anyways, see y'all later.